guys and welcome back to another personality disorder test. Have I already used this one? I hope not. Four degrees. Never heard of this. But why is it? Oh no, it wasn't already done. Okay. So let's what sex am I? Male? Do you believe you have more difficulties with relationships than the average person your age? Hmm? No? Maybe? The average person my age was maybe married already. Do you have difficulty trusting people? Maybe difficult difficulty trust. I I'm also I'm in the same thing. Not trusting and also very trusting. Like when I hitchhike, I just trust people. But if someone approaches me, then I instantly don't trust them. It depends who approached who, really. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Do you tend to avoid social relationships? No, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I think. Do you prefer to be alone rather than the company of others? Yeah, sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> no. No. Oh, sorry. Do you tend to avoid? I don't think so. If you answered yes, is it because you feel very anxious? No. Or because you're suspicious of their motives? No. Do you find yourself unaffected by praise or criticism? No. I, I think I like both. Unaffected by? Hmm... No, I don't think so. To see people who get taken advantage of as being weak and deserving of being used? No. Feel like yearning for acceptance amongst your peers? No. Do you have a difficult time relating to others? Yes. Maybe. Do you believe you have special extrasensory abilities? No. Do you often find that your emotions are inappropriate for a given situation? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think I'll laugh. I think maybe I'm going to say yes. Are you played by suspicion that other people, including loved ones, may be doing things behind your back that will end up hurting you? No. Nope. Do others see you as being cold and distant? Don't think so. Do you tend to choose jobs that are below your skill level? Oh, well, that's a question I've never seen before. Do you find it hard to concentrate on one thing for a long time? Is your appearance or behaviour considered eccentric by other people? Not right now, but yeah. Have other people accused you of being cruel to animals or people? Cruel to people? Maybe. Not, not to animals, I don't think. Maybe not. Do you take actions without thinking about the consequences? Yeah. Do you sometimes profit at the expense of others without being bothered by the pain or damage you may cause them? Yes. Do you consider your needs to be more important to you than the needs of others? Yes. Do your moods fluctuate a lot? I don't think so. Are you prone to bouts of anger? Maybe so. <laughs> I like getting angry. Do you often feel like people are saying negative things about you behind your back? No. Do you often see things in black and white terms? Yes. In other words, something either is or isn't, with no grey area in between. Are you often uninterested in the feelings of others? Yes. When you're talking to someone, do they sometimes have difficulty following your train of thought? Yes. Are you quick to anger when your expectations are not met? Yes. Do you intentionally injure yourself? No. Do you consider yourself to have a strong love for approval and praise? No. Do other people accuse you of being manipulative? Yes. Have you had recurrent thoughts of suicide? No. If you answer, no. Do you tend to be critical of loved ones, sometimes holding them to higher standards than you hold yourself to? Yes. Are you very afraid of being alone? No. Are you focused on order and perfection? Hmm. No. Feel that like you're depressed a lot? No. Do you feel you always feel the need to have a story to tell? Yes. Have you ever been in jail or done something you could be put in jail for? <laughs> yes. Has anyone not done that? Do other people jaywalking? You know, I don't know if you can get put in jail for jaywalking. Do other people accuse you of being self-centered? Yes. Do you occasionally or often dress or act provocatively to gain attention? Yes. Um, do you have a big fear of rejection? No. Do you often second guess yourself? No. Do you find yourself exaggerating your achievements to win the respect of others? Um. Hmm. I don't think I exaggerate my achievements. I think maybe I factually describe them. If anything, I I downplay them. It's not really an achievement, though, is it? To, to exactly, that's what I'm doing. It's not really an achievement to travel. <laughs> I don't think I exaggerate. Certainly, I don't know what it counts as an achievement. What is that? 
Do you frequently alternate between feelings of high self-worth and self-disappointment? No. Do you tend to lie a lot? Yes. Do you frequently reassure yourself that you're deserving of praise? No, I, I know. I don't need to reassure myself. Do you frequently reassure... Okay, maybe... Maybe I... I don't know. Do you frequently reassure yourself that you're self-sufficient? I, I don't reassure myself. I know I'm self-sufficient. I don't know whether to take yes or no for these, because I think I am deserving of praise and I am self-sufficient. I don't think I need to reassure myself about these things. Do you often feel uncomfortable in social situations? No. Does your concern for doing everything right <laughs> interfere with your productivity? <laughs> yes. Do you have trouble not taking criticism personally? Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe. I would say yes. I don't know. Do you feel the need to always be in a relationship? No. Are you quiet? No. <laughs> Are you often critical? Yes. Do you exaggerate the potential difficulties of new situations in order to convince yourself not to try out new activities? Yes, maybe I think I do do that. Do you yearn for intimate... Sometimes. Depends what the situation is. Do you yearn for intimate relationships yet feel you're too... No. Do you ever steal things from stores or people's houses? No. Unless it's abandoned. Even now I don't steal things. Do you suffer from low confidence? No. Do you ever exaggerated illness or other weakness? Mm, no, I don't think so. I mean, like, when I was a kid, maybe. Do you get attention? No. Do you have intense fear of separation from those? No. I rather accused you of being arrogant. Yes. <laughs> Do you avoid working in teams because you are convinced that others are too careless and will not work to your standards? Mm. No, that's not why I've... No. Do you often let others make important decisions for you? No. Do you have intense feelings of an No. Do you often get stuck on the details? Yes. Are you concerned with your appearance? Are you very concerned with your appearance and how others perceive you? No. No. Do other kids you've been rigid or stubborn? Yes. Do you have a hard time throwing things away? Yes. I guess. Do you engage in any obsessive or compulsive behaviour? What kind of question is that? You're meant to tell me. What counts as obsessive or compulsive? Mm, no, I don't think so. Were your parents cold and distant or treated you negatively? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, let's find out. Aha! Now this looks more accurate. There we go. <laughs> I like this already. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think so. I'm definitely not paranoid. Um, what, let's click on more info. Oh my god, see if it deletes it. If I press back. Okay, good. Um, so let's open up like this. Moderate skit side. Do not secretly wish for popularity. Avoidance. Wish for popularity. Hmm. So I just prefer to be alone, but the rest of it, I'm not so sure. I don't feel anxious, anxious at all, though. High schizotypical. Uh, mm, why did I get high of this? Order eccentric? Yeah, I'm certainly order eccentric. No. Difficulty to follow, maybe. I'm not anxious. I'm not really suspicious. Uh, I don't... Aloof, maybe. But the rest, I don't think so. Antisocial, only moderate. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Why? Why is it going to skip a typical again? Hey, it doesn't work. What a bad website. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Oh, they're all all of these just say skip a typical. Wow, they stop. They stop bothering afterwards. Okay, farewell, folks. <laughs>